Hello, my name is Daniel and welcome to Kickstart. This is lesson one, where we will teach you the basics of computing, software, and programming. First, let's go over the difference between hardware and software. Hardware is the physical machine itself. Examples of hardware are CPUs, input and output devices, flash drives, and computer parts in general. Software is the programs that run on the hardware. It can be anything from the Java virtual machine to video games. Other examples are the compiler, IDEs, and apps on your phone. I just mentioned input and output devices as being hardware, and there is a significant difference between the two. Input devices receive information from outside the computer and send it to the computer to be interpreted by the computer's programs or its operating system. Examples are mice, keyboards, microphones, and cameras or webcams. Output devices received processed information from the computer that may be used outside the computer on peripheral devices. Examples are monitors, printers, speakers, and headphones. A fundamental part of Java and other object-oriented programming languages is the relationship between classes and objects. Classes can be described as the blueprints for objects, while objects can be seen as the product of the class. When a new object is created, it must be linked to a class where it takes on the variables and functions of that class. The key idea is that different objects can have different values for the same variable in a class. Here are some of the common programming languages used for basic and advanced software development. Xcode with Swift is the language used for iOS development, and Android Studio is the main development software used for Android app development. Java is, by their own description, quote, a programming language and computing platform first released by Sun Microsystems in 1995, end quote. Java is an object-oriented language and is platform agnostic, meaning it can run on any and all machines. This has led to it becoming one of the most popular languages, and Java themselves state that 15 billion devices run Java. Here is some information on Java development tools. But what is really important is that you have either BlueJ or Eclipse installed in order to begin programming. BlueJ and Eclipse are IDEs or integrated development environments. IDEs provide tools to support the user in the software development process, such as editors for writing and compiling code and running code. The way that Java works is that the code runs on a virtual machine, allowing it to run on all platforms. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.